got the, more or less the draw I wanted. I'm chuffed to bits with that. We should fear absolutely nobody. We've got Paris Saint Germain. You wanted to go there, Helen. I can't remember why. Yeah, so I'm going shopping and I'm getting married. <laughs> Welcome back, it's Eddie and Helen here from Tyneside Life and tonight it's the Champions League draw. We're here at the Strawberry Pub, the iconic, the Newcastle United pub directly opposite St James's Park with the brand new Adidas sign on the gable end of the wall there in anticipation for the kind of official announcement uh, tomorrow on Amazon Prime that was leaked a week or so ago. And uh, yeah, dead exciting, Champions League, cannot wait for this. Uh, because we're going to go to the three away matches. Uh, of course, 20 years ago since we were last in the Champions League, 2002, 2003, and before that, our other appearance in the Champions League competition was 97-98. Of course, that famous 3-2 victory over uh, Barcelona in September 97. I was actually in uh, Ascension Island with the Air Force, so I couldn't make that match. So absolutely buzzing about this. We're in pot four. Personally, um, I've went for May four that I would like if I had a choice is um, Paris Saint Germain because they're huge. We'll have a big ticket allocation, but also I'd love to see Mbappe come to here at St James's Park and get terrorised by Trippier and Tenali. From pot two, I would like to see Atletico Madrid, of course, links with Kieran Trippier, who left there to come to Newcastle, and of course, Eddie Howe went across there to learn the ropes a little bit better in terms of coaching so I think that'll add a bit of flavour to a Champions League group uh, draw with Atletico Madrid in pot three I would like to go for AC Milan because I really look forward to a feisty affair of course Tenali come from there and with the San Siro again we'll have a big ticket allocation I think 12,000 Newcastle fans went there 20 years ago so that's May 3 if I had a choice I'm not into this group of death thing or easy teams there are no easy teams in the Champions League on paper and statistically the Newcastle that would be seen as one of the weaker sides in this competition so I don't care personally I'm in it for the journey I'm in it for the ride and cannot wait whoever we get I haven't got strong feelings about who we get just cannot wait Helen who do you want well, I uh, fancy a trip to Milan. Why? Why? Um, do you want the truth? Aye. Um, aye. Bit of shopping, this and that. A little bit of football in between. I think I'll take my other girlfriend. <laughs> and, oh, maybe a romantic trip to Paris, Eddie, what do you reckon? Paris Saint-Germain. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't get down on one knee, mind, whatever you do. <laughs> it sounds like you're picking uh, the teams I've picked, yeah. <laughs> and I'll just have any random, I'm not bothered. All oh, right, okay. Right, so we're going to head into the strawberry. Um, it's it's getting quite busy in there now. It's about half past five, or just before half past five, I think they're about to start the draw. I'm going to speak to some fans as well, see what they think, who they would like, and afterwards find out what the reaction is to uh, who we get. Come on. I'm Eloise and I'm from Durham. Um, the thoughts on the Champions League draw is I'm hoping we get a couple of easy teams but a couple of hard teams because if we um, get like loads of easy teams and then get knocked out, it's kind of embarrassing. So hopefully we can get a couple of big teams and uh, knock them out the park. Darid, I'm Liam, I'm from Gateshead. I've come to Strawberry to watch a uh, Champions League draw with my girlfriend Joanne and my daughter Eliza. And, um, I'm not really bothered who we get. We're here, we're doing it. I'm just happy for that reason. Well, I'm Jack from Monks Eaton, and it's, I think us in the Champions League, it's going to be a great challenge for us. I think the extra games are going to be difficult, but I think we've always been a difficult... I think we're a really difficult team to beat, especially at home. I think we could give any, any team at this point a good go at home, really. Hi, I'm Sam from Whitley, and uh, I've never seen, obviously, Newcastle in the Champions League. This is first for me. Because uh, obviously I, I was a I was a band by then, but I think it's going to be a very exciting matchup for all of us. I mean, last season was really really exciting, but I think you know we'll we will do well in the group stage given the right team. Obviously, we're not looking for like you know Bayern and Real and PSG and it, like really really hard matchups, 
but we're looking for the right team that we can deliver a good performance to. So whilst the draws on, a quick word about who we've just drawn in the Carabao Cup. As it was going on, I just thought, ah, we're going to get Liverpool or Man City here. And of course, we've got Man City and Newcastle. We commence on the 25th of May. Well, at least we can concentrate on the FA Cup now. Just kidding. What a tough mouth and draw that's going to be. It's going to be a really interesting week. It's going to be really interesting to see how Eddie how rotates the squad. Of course, uh, we've got Man City in the Carabao Cup the week before. We've got the Champions League draw you have to expect Eddie will uh, put his two strongest teams out for those and in between on the 24th we've got Sheffield United away um, so it's going to be really interesting you'd have to think that Eddie might inverted commas put his second 11 out against Sheffield United there's going to be some rotations um, oh, but what what a position to be in it's so exciting to see how things are going to pan out so anyway we're going to get back to the draw and catch up in a sec so Newcastle have just been drawn now we're going to see which group they're going to get. Oh, Paris Saint-Germain, AC Milan and Dortmund, two of the teams that I wanted. Two of the teams I wanted, we've got. Oh, I think, personally, I think that was brilliant. I'm chuffed. I think that's amazing for Newcastle. Paris Saint-Germain, man. Mbappé coming to St James's Park, AC Milan, what a feisty affair that's going to be, Dortmund as well, top German side, I'm absolutely chuffed a bit, Helen and I, when we get in later, will be booking our flights into Europe, well once we find out uh, when the matches are being played, uh, we'll get that done, but uh, personally I'm chuffed a bit, all the groups are hard, and I'm sure we're going to give it a really good shot. Uh, hi, my name is Colin. Uh, I think the group is horrible, obviously. Uh, I wish Messi would have stayed at uh, PSG, but uh, I think it's going to be really hard. And uh, Hopefully we could get at least third and go down to uh, Europa League and try and win something, but uh, it's, it's hard. It's just hard. Hi, uh, my name's Elliot. Uh, the only reason I've got an AC Milan top on is because I ordered it and it came yesterday and uh, kind of picked the wrong day to put it on but couldn't have predicted that any worse to be fair but uh no we've been shafted in that group like absolute group of death but you never know teams coming to st james's park could struggle could struggle very very bad so my name is ronnie support newcastle as you can tell and these two guys reprobates <laughs> uh, they uh, were colleagues of mine and they've got their own allegiance as you can tell so we uh, We'll uh, peel off the Jack. He can talk about his thoughts on the draw. Yeah, Jack, Manchester United fan. Uh, not very happy when Bayern came out, but I think it was all right after that. It'll be a good, it'll be a good draw. I think I fancy our chances to get through, unlike a certain group of death that uh, somebody's got themselves into. All right, we'll uh, come on to that in a minute. But uh, we'll go to Will now. Uh, yeah, Will, I'm a City fan. Uh, relatively happy with our draw. Don't fancy going to Serbia, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll look at our draw. Yeah, it's a group of death. There's no doubt about it, but. There's some good trips to be uh, had there, so uh, hey look, let's see where the journey goes and where it takes us. How are the lads? <laughs> if you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's a pretty difficult group, but also I think we could easily win it. We've got the squad. Um, I don't know who's going to play Tenali against Milan, but maybe he will. I'm not so sure. Dortmund, quite easy. I think the one we need to be quite like careful of is PSG. Just seen the draw there. They're hard games, very, very hard games, but this is a hard place to come, Newcastle. Very, very hard place to come. Uh, I'm just happy we're here. Get, we've got you. And, uh, I'll just be buzzing to get in one of them games. Where, how far we'll get, I'm not really bothered. But uh, uh, let's do it. Well, what a group to be drawn in that was. I think we've been, uh, as I said, I think at home we could still do good against all of PSG just lost Neymar and Messi. Um, Borussia Dortmund lost their best player in Bellingham. Still quite a good team. And then AC Milan are only good if Rafael actually decides to try. But in all seriousness, that's a very difficult group to be drawn in. To reiterate what he said, it, it is a really, really hard group. Um, but the, 
the things that he said, I mean, you know, they've just lost their best players this last season. I mean, Messi's gone, Neymar's gone, Bellingham's gone, you know, like, but they are still a really good chemistry. So I think it really will be such a hard group to have at St. James's Park. But I reckon we could give them a good experience. I think we could give them a good runaround, I believe in Eddie. Right, that's it. Had too many beers, man. That was a good crack, wasn't it? <laughs> And uh, yeah, first of all, I just want to say thanks to everybody, absolutely everybody that came down to the strawberry to see us. All three of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> just kidding, there was, there was more than three. <laughs> there was more than three. I've had really good crack. Cheers, guys, everybody that's come down. Um, and got the, more or less the draw I wanted. I'm chuffed to bits with that. We should fear absolutely nobody. We've got Paris Saint Germain. You wanted to go there, Helen. I can't remember why. Yeah, so I'm going shopping and I'm getting married. Didn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Didn't know what you're talking about. Too many beers. Um, <laughs> <and, yeah. laughs> uh, Dortmund, yeah, chuff with that. And AC Milan, what a feisty game that's going to be. And there, I tell you what, um, PSG, Dortmund, and AC Milan, they'll be thinking when they were looking at pot four, I hope we don't get Newcastle United. And they've got Newcastle United because they're going to dread. Coming to St James's Park with a Geordie Row, with the Champions League music on and the war flags doing their bit and everybody singing the heads off. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. We should fear nobody. But I tell you what, I'm going in with new expectations in the Champions League. It's going to be really tough. It's all about, for me, the journey, the experience, the crack, the adventure. Enjoy all of it, you know. And if we don't get through to the next stage, it doesn't matter to me, you know. We couldn't have dreamt of this 18 months ago, could we? Couldn't, no, no. Just That's a, the way I look at it. Yeah. It's just a pleasure to be alive and to be part yeah. of this journey and this story. And that's, I'm really happy at that. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, give us a like if you did. Tell us what you think about the draw down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you to everybody who has voted for Tyneside Life as best new content creator. And we'll see what happens. No idea. <laughs>